Hey guys, welcome back to World Adventures. I'm Landros, and uh, we are just coming back for episode five. Um, just actually ended up coming back from our trip to China. This is our second trip, but we have our level three visa. I just got off the phone trying to call family for Mother's Day, and they are actually right in the way to lunch, so I got to talk briefly. Um, Otherwise, my day's kind of uh, laid back today, <laughs> which is kind of nice. So for those who've been with me, we've been streaming for quite a bit today. We're not quite done with China, but we are getting pretty close. Uh, the next big thing we have to do is the Dragon Cave, which is what we're working on. But our next trip will actually be over to France. So at this point, we've got a couple of days downtime. There's a few things I want to do. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and accept a few gifts to see what we can get. I can't send anything back, but I could take some of these. All right, so Elemental, I want to say it's Elemental J-A, Elemental J, I don't know how to say the last part of it. Anyway, gave me a Midas Touch. Thank you so much. Obviously, you need another eight, eight hours for that. Um... All right, let's see. Carly Store 03, you sent me the lamp, which is good. I'll probably sell it for money. Okay. Oh, wait, did I reject it? This is Carly Store. Thought you. Okay, it's the same thing. We're going to go ahead and say yes to that, but I, oh, I wish I could. Okay, don't read this on the stream. Just kidding. Your World Adventures is off to a great start. Uploaded my sim for your town. Oh, okay. Um,. I gotta figure out how, where you guys are uploading these so I know where to go get them. So I guess the best thing, if you use them, if you use my Sims 3 page, that would be one thing. Or if you leave it in the comments of the YouTube channel, you could tell me exactly where it is and I'd be able to actually go find it. Um, wow, we got 500. So fantastic. Oh, look, we're getting more gifts. <laughs> All right, we got another one from Carly Stewart, 03. And so glad you accepted the gifts of your game. All right. Is it Kathy is in the chat? Very good, Carly, sir. All right, thank you very much. Let's go and see what we've got in our inventory. We've got 1500 I don't have enough to buy the house yet, but let's just double check and see what's in here. Not much. <laughs> Not much at all. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff. I know you guys just sent it, but of course, you know the reason for this is because of the, uh, the house I'm trying to get. Okay, now I've got enough that I could probably... I could probably swing it if I go over to the casino and gamble. Um, but then I'm not going to have enough to really go travel on. I don't have any kind of a alchemy place that I could, or consignment store that I could sell some of this stuff for, which would probably give me a decent amount, but not a tremendous amount. The platinum would be good. So the best bet for us is to either use the genie lamp or to do the, um, what you call it? inheritance and I'm kind of thinking that we take advantage of the genie lamp just because we can so let's go ahead and just find our dusty old lamp real quick and get some money because I want to buy this house and at least not feel like I'm a homeless bum which is what we are <laughs> so that's what it is did I go past it no it's right there all right so we go ahead and purchase this thing out right and we'll rub the lamp and see what we get let's go ahead and clean clean the lamp see what kind of genie we get I did turn the phone off by the way so we should be able at this point to see to get our actual first wish which would be a bunch of money okay who is our genie our genie is Catherine Temple alright Catherine we want money <laughs> that's all I want uh, let's see fortune alright we're gonna get a hundred thousand off of this if we do it right if she doesn't mess me up <clears throat> and we'll be able to move to a house would you please <laughs> just stop? You're my genie. You're Working supposed to do what I tell you. Alright, here comes our money. Comes our big old windfall. He's excited. I'm excited. And now we're rich. <laughs> we're good enough. Okay, at this point, I am ready to move into a house. Uh, there's nothing on my lot here except for this old newspaper, which I should probably get rid of and clean it. And we need to go put the house down. So going into Edit Town real quick. Let's go ahead and just continue. I just saved a little while ago, so that's fine. Um, I told you guys this is the lot that I'm going to use right over here, which is true. It's a lot that I downloaded from Mod The Sims years ago. I love this house. It's one of my favorites. It's called The Black Pearl. It's on Mod The Sims, and I'll put a link down if I can remember. Um, 
it's just a fantastic house it has everything that I need and it's perfect for one or possibly two sims now it always comes in backwards when you put it in so of course when you put it in flip it around but it is absolutely my favorite uh, house for this area so that's why I wanted to get this one and put it in here then we're gonna go ahead and buy it again I'm still waiting if you guys want to actually do any kind of a, um, a house or a lot here for this for this neighborhood I would be happy to put it in always looking for some Wait, I guess, do I have to actually, hold on, I think we got to put her back in the, <laughs> return her to the genie lamp first. I don't think you can move first without her doing this. She might go in the genie lamp by herself. Hey, get in the lamp. All right, there you go. So now we're going to go ahead and move. Let's go ahead and move to the neighborhood. What are you listening to? Writing? Ah, you can listen to writing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and sell whatever furniture we've got, which is done. Let's go find ourselves a house, which is this one right here, 112. Okay, I told you it was 115. I knew it was close, um, but that's worth it. That is perfect, and I think we are good. We still have plenty of money left to go traveling on, and uh, we should be good for a while. Now, we've got plenty of time here before we actually can do anything, so our choices are to throw a protest if we want, which I probably should do, and then, um, oh man, i got to do the uh, exhaust over here. Now, the problem is you're going to have to go in the boats, but there's a way around that. Let me go ahead and stop him from this. Don't go in the boat. Can you do this? Or do you have to go around the way? <laughs> he has to go all the way around until he gets to the other side. This is the only bad thing that I don't like about these houses over here in Lucky Palms is because he always has to try to get on a, a taxi. But I think he can actually go straight here and get on the dock. Alright, that's good enough. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, I want you to go over here and just go right there. Can you just stop? Do you guys know any way to get rid of this stupid, <laughs> this stupid loop that he does? because it gets tiring after a while. He has to keep doing this over and over. Would you please stop? Would you please stop this? I guess I can reset him. It's the only way I can think of to get him to stop this eternal loop. This is something that, you know, it really is great that they gave us boats and everything, but they really should have done something a little different with it. You can't just direct him to go home, so you got to send him close to the lot and then go. It's obnoxious, I will admit. Okay, energy and all that's not great. But we'll get it up there. It doesn't work it doesn't do that if you do it this way. Bring this with you. Actually put that in your inventory. Well, maybe not Oh! That's weird. Go home. I lost my motorcycle. <laughs> Can't believe it. Oh, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. I just messed up. Are you serious? Uh, no. Don't go home, then. Stay over here. Can I do anything with my motorcycle now? I don't guess I can. I think I've lost it. <clears throat> uh, why can I not get that thing out of here? Maybe if I go over here and do this. Hold on. Can I build on this lot? I have to turn the test cheats on. Let's try that. Oh, wait. It took it away. Maybe he's got it in his house. Hold on. I just killed my whole game. <laughs> there we go. All right, hold on. Let me stop you for a minute. There, it's here. Whew, it's crazy. Okay, first things first. Let's get in here and make sure we've got an alarm. I don't think we do. Uh, no, we don't. But we need to set this as your front door. And we need to put an alarm in. What is this? Find a relic. Why are you asking me to find one here? <laughs> I'm not going to find any relics in this place. Ah, game is weird. Okay, can't put you there, but you can't go there. That shouldn't be a problem. I wouldn't think so. All right, you go ahead and 
don't think there's really anything else that I need but I do want to take some of this stuff out and I thought I would put this out here um, we're gonna come out and do martial arts after a while probably won't really need the uh, the training dummy at least I don't think we will but I am gonna take out this right here the treasure chest and we're gonna put it over here there's not a shower in this house so down here you can take this one out it's a great bathtub but I'd rather have a shower bath combo if I can get one in here so at least he'll be able to use it <clears throat> there's this one or this one's actually better so I kinda like to have both I like to have the option let's see can you just slide that that way and it kinda looks like it matches with the theme and whatnot I mean it, it's not a hundred percent close or it's it's not bad as far as this one I'll just go ahead and get rid of it we'll sell it get the money for it I think everything else we should be in decent shape the rest of the stuff is good stuff I think it is all right so looks like we're good all right let me get him in here I'm gonna have him cook something for a change we haven't had any home cooked meals yet because we haven't had a home to cook um, but we're gonna go ahead and do it now let's get him started on cooking and we should be good I do want to test everything out, make sure that we don't have anything that's just not working. I know there's some things that are a little cluttered in here. But not entirely. Alright. I don't hear him for some reason. I don't hear anything except uh, <laughs> those bells. Let's go ahead and edit town real quick. My sound may be messed up. Well, I hear everything else, I just don't hear him, which is weird. I'm sure he'll let me know. <laughs> if he can't speak, he'll let me know something soon enough. Um, what we should be doing... See, I hear him now, I just don't hear him cooking, which is odd. I listen to your charisma for a little bit. And get your food. He doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, of energy, but that's okay. I'll let you just go eat. I'll put stuff away. <laughs> Why not? Um, there is something else that I'm going to do, but the first thing I really wanted to do was get the protest going. And it is kind of late, but we're going to need energy. So we're going to have to go ahead and drink one of these and get mm. our energy started. Then we're going to start with a protest soon. Mm. It'll be a late one, but that's all right. We're going to get as much of this because we're only going to be here for about 24 hours mm. and then we're eligible to leave. However, I'd like for us to take full advantage of it if we can and get our martial arts maxed, charisma maxed, handiness. If we can do athletic, that'd be even better, but I'm not quite sure. So we may be here a day. We may be here a day and a half. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So... <clears throat> If we still have that issue with the boat taxi, I'll have to figure something out, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think basically what you do is you don't send him home, you have to send him close. And uh, it makes a difference that way. But I do like this house quite a bit. Alright, now the closest place we could do it is over at this place, which isn't bad. But how about we go to this park over here? We did it to the other one last time. We'll try different parks. Since you get the option, you might as well. Okay, you, I'm going to have you come up here and just watch the fish. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up real quick and see what we can stick in here. Things that I know I don't need, like this right here, I don't need. Um, these vases, I don't really need out. That I do want. I'll put in, well, do I want to put the nectar in? I kind of do and I kind of don't. Um... I don't need large and in charge right now, but I'm going to just hold on to it. The moon cut. All these. See, some of these you could actually use. Some of them you don't. This one I know I don't need. So we'll get that one out of here. Uh, let's see. Emerald. I'll probably get an opportunity to turn some of this stuff in. These I won't get to turn. I won't have to turn them in. Not that one. Uh, you want to work out? All right. Just don't, don't, break, don't break a sweat. I gotta remember that I have most of the stuff in here too. 
because I have a bad habit of sticking it in here and then forgetting right, that goes out. <coughs> um, probably don't need half of this junk. Uh, minus touch. Do I want to turn somebody gold? I could. I don't really want to, but I could. Alright, well that's just a little bit of stuff out of there, but not as much as I'd like. Uh, are we going to get messed up with this too? Maybe not. Alright, looks like he just got through that. No big deal. But for some reason, I don't have any sound. Except for that. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. I don't understand why I'm not getting sound on my lot. There's got to be a reason for it, but we'll figure that out eventually. It's not a bad thing. I mean, really, it isn't. Okay, you want to actually make salad, don't you? Well, you just did that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start your protest. That way we can get all this done before we have to leave and go over to France. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. I really don't think anybody's showing up either. But they didn't show up in Fran in China. We did just fine for it as well. So, all right. Um, <clears throat> that was really, really odd. Hey, look, we got a friend. Lola's got nothing to do on Wednesday night at 1130. So she'll come out, hang out for the protest. And he's actually up to level three. I thought he was... Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. He did do the protest. That's right. I thought he was out of uh, the rebel status. Again, these... I'm hanging on to them. I don't really know if I need to or not. Probably don't. But you never know. Alright, I'm going to speed you through this just a little bit. Since I do the protest a lot, I don't have to watch it all the time. But I just kind of like to see if a lot of people show up. Which you're getting a few. You don't know that many people in town. You know a few, but you don't know as many as I'd like. I need you to find some more friends. But at least your charisma now is at the point where you don't meet, uh, you don't lose any friends. You still need to make some more best friends. You've got five of them. All right, so we're good. All right. <clears throat> Again, we're just going to hang out to get a couple of these skills knocked out. He ought to work on his blog, too, while he's here. But, since he doesn't know anybody, that's kind of going to be a little inconvenient. There you go. Charisma's out of here. That's one I was waiting on. Alright. Since we did the potion, we don't really have to do a whole lot else. Now, I'll show you, if you really want to get your, um, your, whatchamacallit, your rebel skill up, Protest is fine, but your best bet is to do the protest and then do a bunch of street art. You will level it up in no time at all. I promise. So, I didn't actually have that on my list of things to do, but now that I'm thinking about it, to get that extra trait probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Alright, well... I think what we will do is finish this up. Alright. Let's go see if we can go home. I don't know if we can or not. We're going to try it. Hopefully we won't get that boat glitch again. We might. And if it continues to do that, we'll just have to move the lot. We'll switch it out with one of the other houses. There's a vacant lot. It's an empty lot, or empty house, but we could do that. Where is he at? Oh, okay, you are going to have to use a boat. Ah, I don't like that, but it's fine. We'll try it. Maybe it works this way. Who knows? We'll give it a shot. I mean, I have lived on this place before, but I think I did move it into a different house, if I'm not mistaken. I wish there was a way to just disable the, the boat taxis completely. Alright, are we there? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's going to do this over and over, isn't it? We'll see if we can get over here. 
All right, EA, <laughs> let me get on my soapbox for just a minute, because this is ridiculous. This is absolutely something you could have fixed, but you left and abandoned our game before taking a look at it. And nobody likes that, and that's why we're scared of The Sims 4, because you're going to do the same thing to us there. And I'm concerned about it. I always have been. There's no other way to do this except to now reset the sim, and I think that is insane. Um... All right, so I think you're right. I think what we need to do is we need to go ahead and stop real quick. And I hate this because I already bought a few things. I already did some stuff. I put stuff out. Let's go ahead and just move this lot. I hate doing it, but the only thing I put down here that was worth anything was this shower, which we are going to keep. Uh, hold on. Let's go put it in our inventory. I bought this, and I have this. I think everything else is standard, and then I have my uh, board breaker. <clears throat> I don't think I did anything else different to this house, did I? I don't believe I did. Let me just double check and make sure that I don't have anything just glaringly out there. Uh, let's take our let's take our motorcycle. That way we don't lose it just by accident. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our edit town real quick. Uh, yes, no. How do I do this without messing them up? Yeah, let's just go ahead and go to Edit Town. I think I do it. Um, I know you can pick it up, but I was going to do something a little different. What I want to do is I want to take this one. See, they've got the better lot. Kind of concerned because this is also a, a middle lot. I'm kind of thinking like you are to take one of these in lots. So let's take this one here. Let's save it to the bin. Go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to take these people out. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and save them. I want to evict them first. Let's evict them. Move them out. So <clears throat> a long way to do all this, by the way. <laughs> I just don't like it. Um, hopefully we'll get this done right. And then maybe we'll block, we'll stop this from being such an issue. Let's save this house right here to the bin. Okay. And then we're going to do our bulldoze. We're going to take care of this one here. Get that one out. Say goodbye. Hopefully. Bulldoze you. Ugh. A lot of moving around. It's not as easy as I would like it to be, but it's fine. All right, this one now can go right here. We'll get them get them back in their house. Uh, it did come in the right way, I believe. Yep, it is. All right, put them in their house so that they don't get all upset. <laughs> all right, go ahead and purchase your house, and then we're gonna get rid of our house. Hopefully, we can do this. Nope, can't do it. Uh, will require evicting the household. Uh, no. No. Don't think I want to do that. No. What I'd rather do is just put the black pearl here, move it onto this house, and then we're just going to move over to it. Then we'll go back and we'll evict it. Because otherwise I'm scared it's going to mess up the, the France adventure. I don't know if it will. It might, it might not. But if it does... See, and now it comes in perfectly. So I think this is probably where they originally built it. So it's probably the smarter choice. Alright, let's go ahead and go back into the game, just continue, and then with you, yeah, I am going to have to reset you again, but your needs, that's just too bad. Reset Sim, I hate doing this, oh, spell my name right, that <laughs> would be kind of nice. Alright, you're going to go ahead and move, let's go ahead and move within the neighborhood, pick a new house. Where are you, <laughs> by the way? I have no idea where he, he's invisible. Dang. I guess it's because he was in the um, in the boat. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and move over here, take this house, sell everything else out. It looks like we actually made some money, by the way. <laughs> we made a little bit more. All right, so let's get you going. Hopefully, he can go to the house the correct way. Um, our motorcycle is in the inventory, so don't have to worry about it. I know we still kept it. I was hoping he wouldn't be invisible, but he's not there. He, he 
you can see him in the in the car so I guess he will come right back out acid test is to see if this actually works and if he has any issues getting onto his lot or not hopefully he doesn't still gotta do the stinking boat doesn't he alright fine I hate these boats when they work they're fine but apparently they're not gonna work okay so now I can handle that if that's what's, if that's all it's gonna do I can deal with that um, still not my favorite thing in the world but I can handle it okay as far as hunger needs let's go ahead and get you to take care of that first I believe we're gonna have to redo a whole bunch of stuff though hold on let's get you out of here put your shower back in here all right did it go all the way where it needs to go no back it up okay get your thing over here go back up here well I thought I had all this done the first time but no it didn't do it right I mean I did I didn't wasn't all my fault I'll take ownership for some of it I probably shouldn't but I will um, let's bring your motorcycle out here and of course our lovely little pink flamingo he gets to go out here somewhere too where can he go Oh, really? I can't go back there? Oh, wait. That was fine. I'll take it there. The only thing I have is really the dummy, and I guess if I want to stick him out of the inventory, I could put him up here. It's not a bad place for it. Alright, so that should give us something there. And everything's out of the inventory. We're good to go. Only other thing I do want to do is go into Edit Town. Let's go ahead and finish it up. Now we're going to delete the old house which is this one and we'll put the uh, that starter empty house over there because you know gotta have something on it alright this is it starter house put it here hopefully it'll come in there right uh, backwards okay there we go and we are good to go let's go back to our game let's get back in um, he needs to eat something so I bet the food is bad isn't it no maybe not go ahead and try it see if it's any good he might have gotten lucky did I do the potion I think I did didn't I I think I did the potion and I've lost it, haven't I? Yeah, because it shouldn't have been going down. I guess when I reset him, it kind of messed him up. So technically, I should be able to bump him up, which I am, but I can't because <laughs> I have to turn my testing sheets on. Oh, well, my bad. That's fine. At least he's not going to go any further down than that, which is good. Hmm. Eh, you want to become good friends with somebody and use a charming introduction? If we get a chance to do that, I will. I'm not sure I will or not, but we're going to give it a shot. Go ahead and listen to, for you, let's go ahead and do handiness since we were close. And then I'm going to have you go upstairs. It's still early in the morning. Let's go ahead and go up here, and I'm going to have you work on this. Practice with your foam board first. I don't think you've done the foam board yet at all. At least I don't think he has, but he will get that going. Make sure you can get up the stairs. I didn't even check it. <laughs> he should be able to. I have played in this house before, but I think I played in it when I didn't have Island Paradise connected. So the boats never did cause me an issue like they do now. Which is okay. View wise, I do like it. It'd be a great uh, houseboat. I don't know if it would fit on a houseboat um, of the sizes they give you for houseboats, though. But yeah, the house doesn't give me any issues. I think it's just getting to the house gives me the problem. Meet somebody new. You really want to meet new people for being a loner. That's kind of a shock. It really is. All right, martial arts. The main thing you have to do is make sure you get him up to where he can break a space rock because he will have to do that when he goes back. 
and um, it'll be one of the first things he has to go off and do. So it's worth it to hang out, and do this if you can. Let's see how many he's got. Five on there. Let's just break it at least one more time, and then we'll just switch it over to the next style of rock or style of board, which is still going to be the boss wood, I think. Don't know why I'm not getting any sound here. It'll probably change when I actually um, either travel or when I come back into the save. I don't understand it, but it does. Yeah, I think I did try to fit this on a houseboat, but I think it was too large. I don't think it would quite fit. I did rebuild this at one time, and but I built it just to see if I could build it. I was copying it, put it on a, um, a lot, and put it side by side. It was tedious, but I did, I did it for a while. But um, I didn't know how to use some of the... Uh, the advanced controls because they did a few yeah. things I know they did move objects on and I think they did something else I've never used before as well so it was something new I had to learn how to try to figure out which wasn't bad it really wasn't that hard all right you have the only bathroom you have that's actually a full bathroom is downstairs so when we get done we're gonna go ahead and have you take a real quick shower uh, see now you're getting this wish hold on we want to go to China, but the next trip we're taking is actually going over to France. Uh, break 25 for 600. I would say you're out of here, so you're done. Uh, but this is a perfect house for a single sim. It's actually not bad for a couple, but once you have a kid, it's really not a good house at all because you don't have much room. All right, looks like we're out of here for you, too. And... Um, yeah, but once you've got your child, you don't have any room to go. Unless you um, try to split up this room, and that's really not that easy to do. You can. I mean, technically, you could actually get rid of this bathroom. I don't know. It would be tough. It really would be tough. Personally, I would probably not. Now you want to break your space rock. See? You're getting there. You're getting the things you need to. Yeah, I think a second home was probably your best bet so that you could actually use it on a little getaway. But I like it when I'm playing a single sim because this is pretty much where I would live. This is what I would have. It's got everything I need. Um, let's see, I'll break one more of these and then we'll switch the board. Come on. We got things to do before we go to France. I want to get some stuff out of the way. Financially, we're not in any heart, any big problems because we've got the genie now. Um, all right, I'm almost scared to do this, but that's okay. And let's see, are you doing handy? That still, yeah. He does get a great view of the town from here, though, which is pretty nice. So, uh oh, why did I just go black? Did I just go black for you guys, or was it just for me on my screen? <laughs> I think it was just me. Um, no, I haven't saved. After switching the houses, you made a good point there. So, did your screen just go black? Because mine went black for like uh, just a second. I don't know what that was. I think it's because I was holding this button down, so that's why. <laughs> Sometimes it does it. That was weird. Scared me because I thought, oh gosh, did I just lose my game? <laughs> it would not have been a nice thing. That's right, I do push a lot of the buttons, don't I? Okay. Now we could be nice neighbors and go out and um, introduce ourselves to everybody, but nah, we're not going to. We're going to probably leave here and go. Um, since we're going to be exhausted, I can't do anything athletic. And really, athletics and cooking. I guess we could go gambling if we wanted to. Um, I did actually have another lot that I downloaded that I haven't tried it. I don't know if it's any good or not. I don't know what the difference is. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Hold on. Sorry guys. I know you're just going to have to go along with me for this. So, But this is actually one that I had seen and um, I liked it. Now this is Drinks at Diamondbacks. I'm going to save the original in case I don't like this lot. That way I can always put it back. And um, it'll be back exactly the way it is. Right now, that lot's pretty generic. It doesn't really do anything, doesn't have anything in it. Just juice bars and seats. That's about it. 
but this is one of a uh, builder that I used to follow a long time on uh, the Sims 3 site of the forums and I'm gonna go ahead and see if let's see is this one yeah this is it let's go ahead and see what it looks like hopefully it's good I think it's a casino, a live show, and a whole bunch of other stuff all together. Um, it, the builder was CK213, I believe, and does some amazing houses, by the way. All right, let's go ahead and go in here and accept it, and then we'll go take a look at the lot. All right, hopefully it's good, and we'll see what we've got in here. Oh, there were people in there. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I knocked you out. All right, so first level. All right, good deal. Look at the arcade. It's got a bunch of stuff. We've got casino stuff. Well, actually, not arcade. It's a casino. It's got all of our slot machines, and that's fantastic. It's a different style. It's not that orange, which is good because I don't like the orange. You've got a bar area over here, which is not actually in the original. I like this. Fantastic. Uh, upstairs, we've got, well, there's your live show venue. Um... Not sure we're going to do any Showtime stuff here, but hey, it works. It's all pretty good. Uh, let's see. What about our... Yeah, there's... Let's see. That's good. All right, so that's a good place to go. We're going to go over here. Yeah, CK213 was the creator. That's where we're going to go over for tonight after he takes his shower. We're going to go over there and just test out the lot. Gives the uh, bartenders a chance to show up and whatnot, and people will start coming over there. But... um. That's why I'm saying if you guys have lots that you like, either that you've made or that you've found that you want to help put in the game, please send them my way. Let me know. Put them on the YouTube channel, on the comments. Put them um, either on my Sims 3 page if you want. Uh, I wouldn't put them on the Twitch channel because Twitch deletes videos within like so many days after you've created it. So if I don't catch it, if you don't tell me that it's there, I won't know it's there and I will never see it. So... Uh, some of my belongings need to be moved around. Why? Whoa, whoa. What needs to be moved around? Oh, all the stuff that I had in the chest? Why? Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that, but why? And now I have to put it out on the floor, don't I? If I want to put it back in the chest. Better do it now while you have very little. Um. Ugh can't believe it. it did that man it's a, those are big I didn't think they were that big all right might as well just stick them out here now that way I can get them in here I swear it looks like move objects on solid but it's not it does look like it but it isn't otherwise you can't get these things out by the way glad I didn't put any more stuff in there can you imagine this would be awful those are pretty um all right, so that'll that'll work. That was kind of weird. I've never had that happen before. Wait. Okay, weird. <laughs> that is really weird. Did I just double my? <laughs> I doubled all my stuff. Um. I don't think I did. I really don't. I'm gonna stick it in here anyway. But that's that's really strange. <laughs> I really don't understand that at all. Um, I just messed myself up. Hold on, buddy. I know you're ready to go. I got you on pause. No, I don't. No, I don't. Now I do. Let's just get this in here so I can shut this thing and make sure that it's okay. I really don't understand what just happened, to be honest with you. Uh, if it deletes everything out of there, I'll be a little upset. All right, go ahead and open this up again. Yeah, it's all in there double again. That's bizarre. Okay. <laughs> all right, so that's fine. Um, I guess we can look in here and see if it actually has it in here. Relic collections, it didn't double these. And then, no, so I think it'll eventually work its way out. It should. Okay, let's go ahead and get you out. Um, it's really kind of early, but we're still going to go over here to the casino and see if we can do a little bit of gambling. What are you doing? Oh, you're not out of shape. <laughs> you're weird. You're a weird guy. Um, that's okay. Oh, wait, did I set this at the front door? Yeah, I guess I should. Wait! 
I wanted to take my motorcycle. <laughs> All right, are we gonna go? Please tell me we'll get on the motorcycle and go. I hope we do. Looks like it. Yay. That boat scares me because I don't want to get in that eternal loop again. I could go over there and throw and toss a coin, but I thought, no, we'll just come on in here and we'll just have fun. Oh, it's the hot spot of the night. Hey, you could have said hi to her, but that's all right. Go over and say hi to this person, whoever she is. Say hi to Darlene. Oh, you know Darlene already. Um, there's no bartender here tonight. Oh, I guess they probably don't. They don't have bartenders. Ah, well, it's worth a shot. <laughs> we can try. Um, all right, go ahead and do Andy this again. We're not quite done with you, and then we'll go ahead and do a high stakes with you. Oh wait, you can hack the machine. That's right. Go hack the machine. I forgot. Now that we've got handiness, we can do it. The house is the Black Pearl. So. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Once you get finished with this, you can then play high stakes. So hopefully you'll have a better chance of winning. Oh wait, new person, Barry Gilbert. I could say hi to you, but he's going to want me to go play with him, but I'm not going to. Alright, so that should work. We should make some money off of this. This is just working on his fun. Well, he already had fun. <laughs> he was already good. And we'll take him out to go eat after a while. Because it's, it's still early. Did you win? No. <laughs> you has got nothing. All right, let's turn these on. I mean, gotta make the whole effect. All right, there's a bunch of them. Okay. Well, we got. <laughs> there's action going on here. Um, well, you got five thousand. You got your. You got your win there. Might as well turn the whole lot on and make it work. Oh, there is the proprietor. That's like, they didn't show up. Yeah, they did. They're here. And did I turn you on? Yeah, I did, but you're not doing anything. There we go. Okay. It probably caused my game to slow down, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Get another 5,000 one. Come on. Well, that was actually not bad. I think this is from the, the hacking, though, to be honest with you. I think we actually we have a much higher chance than all of these. Maybe not. How close did we get on uh, martial arts? Not quite to the top, but we're getting close. And there's really not any other places that we could go to here in town. Now, one thing I was thinking about was putting a consignment store in, but let's go up here and do this again. I'm sorry. I hate to do it. It's probably going to do this and give me more stuff in my chest, which will be really bizarre. But this lot over here, I've used it as a diner, but I also can use it as a consignment store, too. So let's go in here and drop this down. Um, this way we can get rid of some of our stuff. Best thing to do is take this out real quick. Uh, let's go into our ch -ch 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 counters. We want just basic counters. Um, is that that probably could work? I would think. All right. Let's go ahead and do a swap of the color. Put it the same here and same here. And at this point, it's really our choice as to which kind we want to use. I'm thinking we go with definitely with the supernatural one because you can sell more stuff at this register than you can with just the regular consignment store. So if you put that there, they do not have a bathroom, which I think is kind of odd that there's no bathroom on this lot. But we can fix that by giving them a basic all-in-one 
and I would say right out here would be perfect. All right, so that gives you this, and then if you want food, you're kind of out of luck. <laughs> There's no real food to, eat, to be eaten here, but you can make your own with uh, the grill. So I figured that's fine. Um, we're not really going to use it except for much, just to maybe come over and buy and sell some stuff. So that's why I thought I would put it over here. And until you guys decide that if you found something better or you want to do something different with that lot, that's all. <laughs> that's all I did. So, and again, this lot that we put in, if you guys have a better one, I'm all for it. If you have a different one you want to try, that's fine. I, um, I'm not committed to any of these lots that I put down, so it's whatever you guys want to do. Of course, that's the only ones I've put down so far, so it's fine. All right, gambling, we should be able to get that thing maxed out pretty quick. It's not going to take too long. Uh, did you say hi to her? You did. Oh, wait, we've got Darren Dreamer came out of his house. That's unusual. He usually doesn't leave the house. He's a little odd. Well, we're not listening to a tabcast anymore, so let's go ahead and just say hi. Might as well beat as many people as we can. Go beat this guy. Uh, <coughs> got 6,000. That's not bad. Anybody upstairs besides the proprietor? No. All right, and you've already met her. Why don't you go ahead and actually hack this machine again? <laughs> Let's see if we can make some more money. Oh wait, before you did that, I should have had you listen to something. Let's do cooking first. Get you working on this first. That way we'll at least make a little bit of money. I want to get the blog done too, because that will give us another five to six thousand. <laughs> yeah, you're being real discreet, aren't you? He's right there in front of me. Oh, wait. There is food here. Okay. Oh, that's what I could have put over the other place. was a food register. I didn't even think about it. Oh, and there's a bartender here, too. Okay. I should have thought about that. I didn't I didn't even think about the food register. All right. All right, go ahead and play this one. We got better odds. We only have four hours till we can actually start traveling if we want. So, um, and I do want to get started on the traveling right away. Even if he's not maxed out on martial arts yet, that's fine. It won't really matter because he's still got to wait another day between. And we're not that far off. Um, we really are. So I figure we'll just go do what we can do here. In just a minute, I'm going to have him go over here and grab something to eat. See what's over there. If it's anything good. It's only 5 o'clock. So much for the... Uh, <laughs> for hacking the machine. I guess. That's not doing much. Oh, man. Now, I don't have music turned on, so... I think otherwise you would be hearing music. Because I can see it moving like that. But I don't have anything. So many What did he throw up? <laughs> what is he doing out here? He doesn't like the outdoors. <laughs> is he just playing tag? It's kind of odd. I would say really, really odd. Okay. Um, when do we have the festival? I guess it's still any time. Oh, man. It's a full moon. Well, that I don't think I have anything at my house that's going to be a problem. I really don't. Did you get a... Oh, you didn't get a jackpot? I think it glows like that because you've hacked it. I think. I might be wrong. I might not be, but I might be wrong. I want another 5,000... Another 5,000 win and we're good to go. There is one other thing that I am going to do that I don't normally do in my LPs. I was thinking we would wait till we came back from uh, from France. I haven't decided yet. I'll wait for a little bit. Alright. Who's the fireman? Oh, he's our friend. 
Um, uh, buddy. Oh no, he's not a fireman, is he? Marco. I don't know what he is. <laughs> Looks like a paramedic. He really does. All right, buddy. Your hacking job must have been just like the worst hack ever. Because this is not good. <laughs> not good at all. Oh, this is crazy. I would like for you to just get a 5,000 win. Seriously. I know you're on a losing streak. And you're unlucky. Why? <laughs> what did you get from that? All right, fine. Let's go ahead and stop and eat something. Because apparently we're not going to get a, a win on this machine at all. At least I don't think we will. We'll try this last one. If we do, great. If we don't, we're eating. Nope. Time to eat. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You made nothing off of that. Oh, it looks like we're out of our uh, fatigue thing. We're about ready to go to um, to France. So first of all, what we will do is eat eat dinner. <laughs> Let's eat first. I forgot what his favorite food is. <laughs> I did not even remember to look. Um, yeah, what do you want? What would I want if I was there right now? Uh, teppanyaki filet mignon. <laughs> That's what we're gonna get. All right, go ahead. And then I'm gonna send you back over here to your house. Let's see. Mm. Something tells me it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work the way I want it to. Ah. He has a computer in here, doesn't he? I thought he did. I think it's upstairs. He's got a desk. Oh, he's got a laptop. Alright, good deal. I didn't know he did. Alright, I'm going to send him over here just a little bit and we'll go to that room if he can do it did you eat man he ate faster either i went really really slow <laughs> i guess it's probably a mixture of both um well the bar that turned out to be okay that casino that was fine i don't think i'd have much use for the showtime stuff if i'm not playing a showtime character so for that it's kind of like wasted space at that point but if i was playing showtime that wouldn't be a bad thing at all you say there's a mod for this to get rid of this thing? Because if there is, I'd probably actually get it. Because I don't like doing this. But again, if it's just to this point, it's not that bad. Because he just goes right in. So I, that's not that bad, actually. Just got to be careful with what you, uh, which one you use it with. All right, let's get you to do your multi-tab again. I was kind of waiting to see if we would get the... Um, which we call it the certificates in the mail, but we haven't gotten them yet. Go ahead and practice with your oak board for a little bit. Might as well work on it and try to get you up to the point where you can do a space rock. It would be nice. And then uh, before you know it, we're going to head over to France. Get started because France will be busy. It really will. And I should, I thought about doing prepared traveler because he's got enough uh, points for it. That would give us an extra three days over there. Mm. It's our choice. Either we can do Prepared Traveler or we could do Learn Relic Hunter. Which is supposed to give you better quality stuff. Although he does pretty good on what he's getting. So I don't know. I really, really don't know. Um. Oh wait, you guys are talking about something. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, I'm looking back. Alright. Uh, yep. The Dragon Cave is actually the one that we are working on, but in order to actually do the Dragon Cave, we've got to go over to France to get the rest of the uh, the journal. And really, I just want to get him a little bit further along on this martial arts. I don't really care about maxing it out just yet. I really care mostly about getting, uh, being able to do a space rock, since that comes up pretty quick. I'd like to have that out of the way. Uh, seriously, all uh, these are good. They're all worth decent uh, points. That's about the same. Break uh, space rock or break 50 boards. Let's just hold off. Alright, cooking's up to four. Well, that's not bad. Um, still working on it, though. I do like my sense to be able to cook. 
as much as I can. Wait, where's your food that's going to bad? I don't know what you got. What was that? <laughs> what is, oh, my cats are playing. They're about to fight. I don't know why. They Sometimes they do that. I think they're play fighting. What food is going to go bad besides the mushroom doesn't go bad? I don't know. I think the game just lies. <laughs> it just completely lies. All right. Yeah, I'd like to have that steak, too. I really would. I would love to have it. I'd like to know why the sound isn't working for some of these things. It works for some parts, but not for others, which is kind of odd. Um, but see, this would make perfect, well, yeah, this would be pretty good for the, um, for the houseboat. It really would. But again, it's perfect for one sim. Pretty good for a couple. Anything beyond that? Nah, probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't work. Well, you could make it, I guess. You could build something into it, but it'd be tough. And I do want him to come down and enjoy his hot tub before we go. Because we haven't done anything yet. He's got to enjoy this house that I just uh, spent money on. Uh, <laughs> All right, got to enjoy a little bit of it. I can't see how many boards, but it's obviously not five yet. All right, come on. <clears throat> See, I'm not getting any sound there at all. All right, when you wrap this up, even though you're going to be stinky and filthy, I'm still going to have you come down and get in. So, oh, you're going to skinny dip tonight. <laughs> Why not? Who else is here? It's just you. So you might as well enjoy yourself. Well, see, I heard that, but I didn't hear the actual break of the boards. Oh, there's a zombie out. I hear him. Oh, he's right there. I didn't hear the zombie start up either. I didn't hear him come out. Um, uh, I hate that they're here on my lot. There's no way to actually block this in. Well, actually, there it is. I heard it finally. I guess I could put a little fence there and a fence here, but then they'd probably spawn here and not be able to leave my house. So, I don't know. I think we're just going to be stuck with them. I hate to travel on the full moon because I know that sometimes it causes issues. I don't think it'll break the game, so... But for right now, since we don't have to go anywhere just yet, we're going to hold off. Uh, does it look like five? One, two... I can't tell until you stand up. Stand up. Okay, it looks like it's about five. Let's let you break this one and I'll switch it over. All right. Change it over to the thin stone block. <laughs> Let's see if we get there. Let's see if we can get it working. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting over to France and getting started. Because this one, uh, if we did prepare Traveler, we'd have a lot of stuff finished. Um. But then again, actually, I'd kind of like to not do it. I'd like to hold off. So I think we'll stop. I think we'll just go for three days. There you go. You are worn out. But at least I know we've gotten up to this point. And, of course, even though he's filthy, the hot tub will actually, um, it will actually work on your hygiene a little bit. So... We'll have him just do that. I could jump in the shower real quick if I wanted to. But nah. <laughs> we'll go over to the hot tub. It's just a zombie. And who are we trying to impress? <laughs> he's smelling himself. <laughs> no, he's smelling the, the dirty plate over there. Alright. There you go. Jump right in there. Now, it's not like they can't look right over here to see you. But they can. Alright. Is this working on hygiene at all? A little bit. Slowly. There isn't a garbage can, is there? Oh yeah, that's right in front of me. Alright, put that in there. You are good. And really, at this point, I'm just kind of killing a little bit of time. So I'll just speed him through for a little while, just while he's enjoying his hot tub. And then, uh... Oh wait, more zombies. <laughs> are they going to get in? They can't mess with me when I'm inside. That is kind of funny. Leon Guthrie. Wasn't he the paparazzi last time? And Ajit Chopra. 
All right. Well, I thought he was. I thought he was paparazzi. He might have been. All right. You only got two more hours, and then you can go back to working out again. There you go. <laughs> oh, we got another zombie. Okay, great. Carl's here. Oh man, now the raid's coming. Go up here and practice again. Let's see if you can get this out of the way. Yeah, they'll leave in about an hour. <laughs> they will. I hate it that the sound's not there. Otherwise, we would actually have heard them show up. But... <laughs> Alright. I'm not going to stay the whole day. I just want to get as much advantage of this right here as I can while we're working on martial arts. So if I can get it maxed out, that would be good. And I'm also trying to wait to see if I can collect uh, anything from the mail. Oh, wait. There's stuff there already. So I should have looked. All right. Still summer, right? Yeah, still summer. Man, you're going to be soaking wet after you do this. <laughs> you're not going to be too happy with me making to work out in the storm. That's okay. It's pretty. I like that it's kind of foggy. You can't really see all of it, but um, I do like the look of it. It's a world I don't really play in as much as it as I want to so I'm kind of glad that I chose this one just for something a little bit different I'm used to Sunset Valley and I've done that so many times I just don't know if I can play in it right now I I like it don't get me wrong I played in it a lot but it's just you finally get to a point where you play too much all right now we should start seeing more of the town eh, not really all right, this weather's going to be this bad. We're going to leave soon. All right, I'm going to speed you through just to get through a few of these boards. So you're close. You're really close to maxing out martial arts. And then that will be just something else we don't have to worry about when we come back. So you're getting there, though. Still only one block. Yeah. It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's definitely going to take a while. Two blocks. Well, the rain's stopping, at least, for the most part. There it goes. There you go. Martial arts is finally done. And at this point, when you get finished with this, we will send you downstairs, get you cleaned up, and check the mail. Make sure there's nothing in here. I'm hoping... Oh, I don't want a bath. I want a shower. Alright, go ahead and do your shower. I want to see if there's a certificate in there. And can't really get any gifts yet because we don't have any. Wow. Looked like it was going to be a horrible day. It turned out to be really, really nice. What a great day. I almost want to stay. Uh, that's alright. We're about to head on out and go to France. So, Which typically when I first started playing World Adventures, I never went to France until the very end. Um didn't realize that really there is kind of a, a progression that you're supposed to follow and it's based on those opportunity chains like we just did so I just used to just go straight from China Egypt and then end in France and had to come back to Egypt which was never fun you could do it that way but yeah all right I guess I do need to have you eat something too be worth more than three hundred thousand uh, I'll lock it in. Okay, how long is it going to wear you out? <laughs> it's going to take a while. <laughs> Alright, you're getting exhausted. Well, that's a good cue that we need to go traveling because that will take care of all of this. I can get you to move. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah, don't even start. Don't even start. We don't need to. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to go down. Um, I will put the motorcycle in your inventory. That way we can take it with us, because you will use it in France more than probably anywhere else. Well, no, use it everywhere. But France is pretty easy. It's pretty much everything's connected by a road. Except for maybe two things. Okay, these things are starting to hurt my ears. I don't know why. Let's 
been pretty peaceful so far. Um, it's a real quiet area over here in Lucky Palms. Um, who's this kid? <laughs> Some random kid at my house. Oh, it's the <laughs> Ricardo. It's the paper boy. <laughs> he decided to go jump in my hot tub. I didn't think kids could get in the hot tub. I have no idea, but he's crazy. All right, there we go. We got two of these. Fine. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So we'd have a little bit extra there. <laughs> you're not, you're not a big fan of him, are you? All right, let's go ahead and travel. Before you travel, let's go ahead and stop and save. Make sure we don't lose anything. But <laughs> it's kind of funny. Random paper boy just come wandering from the side of the house, half naked. What are we gonna do? Um, all right, this would be for martial arts, and I believe the other one's for handiness. So I got nothing for the charisma. Um, okay, going to France. Three days, that's all we get. And do I need anything else? I don't think I need any of this other stuff, so we're good. Alright, as far as our money, I didn't even look, but we're about 114. Alright. I don't know how much that just cost us to go. I really don't. But 114, 323. I know we'll make money on this. We should. So we're on our way. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but we can't help you. We're going to France. You can sit there and complain all you want on the side of the road. We're leaving. We've got to do... This one's easy. This one's actually... Oh, 1900 Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know how much that was. I forgot how much to, to look at how much it cost us. So, alright. So that means we've got to make three. I think that's an eight. I wrote that. I think it's an eight. <laughs> I think it is. Alright, so we've got to have a little over 116000 which isn't bad. I don't think we'll have a hard time making 1900 on this. I really don't. Um, <clears throat> it really depends on if we take on another opportunity or not, which I probably won't if I can avoid it. Uh, we could do some of the, the freebie tombs that don't require an opportunity, and uh, they won't really mess with our visa level. So I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't go past visa level 1, um, too far past level 1. I don't want to do like he did it in uh, China. Okay, here we go. Good old France. All right. <laughs> it takes forever. If you hit a button, it'll actually just run through this real fast. But I let it go. I let it go through the whole thing. Okay. We should get the very first thing telling us what to go do. Alright, go discuss the journal with whoever this is. We already got 15 points for that, which isn't bad. Now, he should get one of these. There we go. Stop for a minute. Alright, uh, this one is worth 1500 so we're going to get rid of that one. Put that in its place. And hopefully this guy will be nice and tell us what we need. I don't think you have to do much with him. However, you ought to introduce yourself real quick. Watch him say no. Oh, no, he did. <laughs> he was good. Alright. Go ask about the affair. One of these is going to actually refuse to talk to us, and so we're going to have to become friends with him. Alright, we've got to do this again. Uh... There we go, just lost another 500, which is okay. Where was he going? I don't know what he was doing back there. I love these flowers, though. Whenever I, whenever I build, I always want to put those flowers in. But I can, Sometimes I make them work, sometimes I don't. Wow, I've never even noticed these. See, I told you. All right, so what's this guy's name? Lorette. Sorry, Lorette. We'll get you in just a minute. Alright, first you need the blog so you can actually make sure your blog is working here. 
good, you didn't lose anything. All right, then you're going to go ahead and do it again, <laughs> and then we'll ask about the affair. Don't leave. Well, you can leave. I don't care. We'll get you in a minute. All right, Laurent and Scott, they are going to be friends. All is good. I think that's the same number I came up with. 16. Okay. All right. Go ahead and post this again. See, we could have been working on the blog and finished that up. I didn't even think about it. It's okay. Hey, <laughs> get out of the house. I don't think I've ever come to this house. I don't remember ever coming to this one. This is new. Um... I really don't, to be honest with you. Uh, or maybe I have, but we just always came to the front, and I never really noticed the side over here. Um, but it's pretty nice. I like it. Can we go inside? <laughs> I think we probably can. Um, I'd like to just take a look at it if we have a chance. All right, get yourself over there. You're walking way too slow. I don't know why. I don't think we can go in. We have to actually ask to go in. Live north. Alright. There we go. Deliver a piece of opal. Now this is one where we don't have opal, but more than likely it'll be right over... Yep. Right over here. So let's go over here and smash some stuff. Alright. Come on over. Speaking of which, where were you at? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have been to the house. That's the house I usually buy. So this house, I just don't ever come to it. Um, it's pretty cool. Now we could go through this tomb, but this is the one that I was telling you that it just annoys me <laughs> because it just gets very confusing after a while. It's good, I like it, but it's and I it's not hard. It's just you know you're going around and around and around <laughs> until you finally get to uh, until you get to the bottom. And then you go to another spot. Oh, I don't want to inspect this one. Smash. Is this the opal? Uh, I don't think it is, but we'll take it. Alright. Get yourself whatever this one is. Go ahead and smash that one. We got amethyst. Are right, we have to go down in here to get the opal? I will not be happy if I have to do that. I really won't. If I've got to run through this whole thing just to get it, um, no, I think that's it. I think we just found it. Shouldn't be bad. All right, there we go. Go deliver this, and we should be good to go. The next part is, I think, just the first part of the the chateau, which is actually pretty easy. Um, it's just a, it's a tomb that does that goes in about three or four parts, so. The first one, not hard. The second one is usually the papers that you have to go find in the library. That's not hard either. Uh, really, they're not hard at all. We're just time consuming. Okay. Yep, now we get to go to the chateau. And so let's head on out. I should be listening to a multi-tab, by the way. Actually, before I mess up, we should be doing that. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and listen to... We'll work on our cooking while we're here. I gotta do some shopping as well. I don't have to, but I could. I'll show you the street that I think is hysterical that they never fixed if, it, if we go past it. We might have already passed it. You guys probably know which one I'm talking about. Yeah, we already passed it. But it's just like so blatantly bad <laughs> that they never did anything with it. So, alright, let's go over here and find the switch. Hello, it's right here. Alright, oh, you're going to have to walk around it. Alright, fine. I'll go with you. We're in the black. <laughs> I can't see through it. Alright, I was just trying to actually roll it up so you can see the traps and everything, but... Man, he just takes forever. He's just on like slow speed today. I don't know why, but he is. Are these not on? I think they are. If you try to go up there, they'll they'll get you. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to disarm anything here, I don't think. Mm, we could try it. I don't think I will, though. There you go. Alright. Go through the door. Oh, wait, that's right, I forgot. I need to actually set this up. I believe I do it with you. Mask controller, settings, uh, menu visibility, lots. Let's turn that off. There we go. Perfect. Otherwise, we would have made some mistakes. Alright, hold on. Go through this door. Bypass the first door and go to the second. The first door will be for the papers at the library, which we don't need yet. And this is just a lot of walking upstairs. So, it's not bad. Oh, wait, do I have anything cheap? Yeah, I've got the cola, which I don't think I, I don't know how much it is, but I think that'll work. That or um, uh, do I have anything else that's cheap? Not really. <laughs> Not really anything that cheap. All right, go ahead and go up these stairs again. You've got the key for this already, so you could put it in there. But there's something else up at the top, so you might might as well go up and get it while you're here. All right, go ahead and walk over here. You're gonna set off a trap. There you go. And the only way to get through that is just cross it. Try your best. Wow, I'm surprised you got through that. I could open that one up and then stand on it. You should be good at this point. Let's head on down and... Oh, what settings did I use for Master Controller? I'll just show you real quick. Click on him, it doesn't matter. Go to NRAS, go to your Master Controller, drop down to Settings, and then you want to go look at Menu Visibility right here. And I just chose Lot, where it said True, choose Lot, and then it'll, when you hit the check mark, it'll turn it to False. So that way you won't show it anymore. Um, otherwise, everything turns out looking like that. And it's really hard to find anything if you're doing it that way. So that's what you do. Pretty easy. Took me forever to figure that out though. <laughs> it really did. Alright, go ahead and go on through this one. Okay, here we go. Let's head on over here. We definitely want to take this one. And we want to take that one. And then we're going to get trapped. But we'll fix it. All right, go ahead and do this. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, place an item. And we're going to do the all fizz right there, which didn't cost us a thing, but it takes care of the traps. So that's why I didn't sell that stupid can of Coke. Because I knew I wasn't going to drink it, but I knew I needed it for that. So if you were wondering why I kept it in there, <laughs> that's always there's always a reason for some of the stupid stuff I do. Sometimes there's not, but most of the time there is. Alright, for this, let's see, we are going to find a lot of these relics, so let's go ahead and lock that in. I probably should have gotten rid of this, but... Now, you don't have to use the bathroom here, but I do, just in case it unlocks anything. I know it won't. Sometimes it's the shower that will unlock. This one doesn't do anything, but I always do it just because... I don't know. Alright, so we switched over with a old can of coke which has been sitting there forever all right go ahead and grab all this stuff and then we'll go on down the stairs this is a great place to stay if you don't want to go back to the base camp sleep in these beds because these beds are much better than what the base camp offers plus you've got bathrooms you've got a shower or bathtub there is a shower downstairs if you need it um, can't really cook here but if you unlock the other parts you could use a quick meal or if you go out to the uh, the gardener shed that's outside, you could actually use that one too. All right, cooking is gone for that, not quite. But I usually will spend my time here if I can, if I have to sleep. All right, let's get you over here. And especially if you've got the logic skill done and you have all the potions discovered, just get your sleeping potion and use it. You'll sleep here with pretty much just a couple of minutes and you're done. <laughs> it's really fast. 
Alright, here we go. And then this one, click on the second store, second stairs, don't bother with the first. And we should get down to the bottom. Alright, next thing, let's go ahead and take over this trap. So we don't get burned to a crisp right here at the bottom, which would not be good. Alright, go ahead and walk on through here. And then get yourself going with your Mark. cooking skill as well. Alright. Um, that's all you needed, really. This one you need. This one. We'll take this one. And then you've got a whole bunch of uh, work you can do out here. So go ahead and just start harvesting if you want. You don't have to, but I tend to just grab as much as I can while I'm here. Uh, he is kind of hungry, and we've got food for him that he can take care of. I think that's the only food he's got. Oh, no, he's got this food. That's fine. All right, I'm going to speed him through the gardening process real quick, because it takes forever. Um, this isn't all of it, but it is the bulk of it. So at this point, he can go back to China. So we don't have to actually go report in or do anything. So technically, with France, we are done. Um... And we've already hit our first level in our visa. So we've gotten everything done that we needed to here. At this point, though, if you want to look over here, um, let's go to France. He's only got about 30% of his visa level covered for the next, the next set. So I'm still going to probably be a little bit more cautious about taking on another job. But I'll show you what we can go off and go do, which is pretty easy. All right. Now, since you're filthy, let's go through this door real quick and uh, get you cleaned up before you start using your shower to can, which you want to do, but you're not going to. And we've got a little bit of time. Fully explore tomb is 1,500. Man, I hate to actually get rid of this one because we're going to be going back there. But all these are good. Uh, yeah, do I need the points? No. Fine. Go through that door. Alright, all I want to do is just go in here and jump in the shower real quick. Alright. Let's get you working on your cooking again. Then you're going to go ahead and take one of these. How much time have I got? We're still on the first day. So, man, not bad at all. Again, we're not 100% done with this too, but or this part of it at least. We're close, but not quite through it. Alright, speed you through that. And I'll get you to go out the door. Hey, if you follow my directions, you'll be fine. See, this one I would go sleep in if I wanted to sleep upstairs. But, I don't want to go upstairs. I'd rather just go ahead and uh, get him through and move on to the next spot. If I'd had the um, prepared traveler, we would have an additional three days. We could go and do a lot more. But we probably will be able to get through the bulk of what I need. All right, go ahead and open this door up. All right. I'll speed you through that one. Go grab this one. Still wanting to fully explore tomb which she should have already gotten that, but it's okay. How many of the grapes did we get? Did we get all six? One, two, three, four. No, we're missing the blue ones. Man. If you wait long enough, the blue ones will be actually able to be harvested. So if we come back, we should be able to get them. Or if we stay long enough in the day. But I'm not going to be doing that. All right, go ahead and open this one. Open that one. Uh, check everything else. Oh, yeah, you're in great shape. See what we get. Nothing great. Just a pile of dust. Not worth anything. <laughs> That's just typical. Not worth anything at all. What we got here? Okay, that one's worth something. All right. Use your stairs. Let's get upstairs. It's dark. But we're going to go out here to the back, which is over here, and go smashing some rocks. It's easy to get turned around in here. It really is. So you just kind of have to remember where, kind of where you are. But he's almost done. 
this one there's not a whole lot there's just some nectar we're going to go down and get um, that's really about it I could go ahead and do this little chest this little shed over here I'm not going to we've got basically what we need to do it but there is an opportunity that does that so that's why I just leave it alone for now I right, smash this one Let's just go ahead and uh, see if we get all these done. This is probably the easiest part of the um, the chateau. Well, the little shed is easy, um, but this one's probably one of the easier ones. The one that I don't like. Well, the library. No, they're all pretty easy. The last one that is the one that just I think you get it with the eye land grab kidnapper or whatever that's the one that just you have to go from one floor to the next but it's crazy oh uh, you get that thing through um, the confounded boulder opportunity in China so you have to do that one in China before you come do some of the more advanced ones so just this is where that uh, extra keystone that was sitting on the table back there by the shower this is where it comes in handy so you have to make sure you grab it otherwise you can't get in the store but because I always wondered like why do they have that keystone there. Well, that's where it's from. <laughs> it's because of this. Alright, go ahead and actually grab... can't grab all of them. You can grab some of them. Alright, stop it. You're going to start doing something that I don't want you to do. Alright, go take this one. There we go. At least you got something you can take. Take these. Those are empty. Oh, take these. And that is really it. That's basically all you can do in this place, unless you want to make your own nectar. So at this point, since we are done with this part of the chateau, uh, we're going to leave here. We're going to get out of this place. It's hard to see, but there's a burial mound up here that we're going to go to. And what I'd rather do is, let's see if I can find it. It's hard to see it at the nighttime. It really is. Where's the back? All right. We're going to go over here. Let's see if he can just come on over. And I will speed him through so he can get over here. Once he gets here, I am going to do something else. Alright, go ahead and actually mourn for this person, whoever it is. Which is going to unlock... There's two There's two tombstones over here. One there. If that one doesn't do it, then this one will do it. But it will actually unlock a little hole in the ground over here that you should be able to get something decent out of. You always normally get a um, excavation site as well. Let's see, there you go. There's that one. And then I'm going to let him go ahead and excavate as well. While he does that, let's go ahead and get him set. Let's save the game so we don't lose the progress we've made already. Um, this tomb actually has three of your tombs inside. One of them is an opportunity, and then the other two you just do on your own. You don't actually get an opportunity for it. You just had to do it. So this is one that I won't do the opportunity one. It's usually your starter tomb, but I will do the side tombs. And they're easy. You get some good stuff at them, but um, we should have enough time. If we've got these potions, we should have enough time to wrap it all up. At least I hope we do. It's unfortunate that you can't see as well because it's so dark, but that's okay. If we go down the stairs, that will lead us into the opportunity one, which we're not doing. So we're going to just forego that. Instead, we're going to go out here in the back, and we're going to smash this rock once we get done with excavating. And you have to be careful when you come over here because uh, random tourists will be over here going through this excavation site. I don't know, for some reason they just, they're gravitating towards all these every time I usually come over. So I was really surprised not to see anybody, but then I realized 3 o'clock in the morning, you probably don't have to worry too much about anybody else. Mm. But if it was a regular time of the day, you would end up with issues with it. Oh. So it actually worked to our advantage to come at this time. Alright, did we get anything good? Sometimes you'll get some of the rare collectibles, which uh, we haven't got anything yet, but sometimes you will. I'll speed him through this one before we get through it. I'm hoping we get something good. Mm, doesn't look like we're anything great. Nope, nothing too good. That's okay. It's always worth looking at them if you can. But that's all right. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and just smash this thing down. And once you do that, you should 
be able to actually unlock this door. So use this, go ahead and inspect it, and then there's going to be a staircase that will open up for us so we can go downstairs and start the first half of the tomb. This one's probably the lengthier of the two. Um, it's not hard, it's not, it's not that long, but it is probably a little bit longer than the other one. Um, but they're both actually pretty easy, they're pretty good. I like them just because I didn't know they were here for the longest time. I had no idea you did these. So um, when I finally figured it out, I was like, man, no wonder I'm always missing a couple of relics in France because I didn't. I kept waiting to get an opportunity for it, and you never do. You never get an opportunity for these. So you kind of have to do it. Um, all right. Now, of course, if we'd already unlocked the rest of the tomb, you'd be seeing stuff we've already done. But we came into it after the fact. Um, they kind of expect you to go through the regular opportunity chain first and then do this one. But it doesn't matter. This is going to unlock the other parts. You'll see, I think, part of the maze. All right, then go ahead and inspect this one. There's the maze. So at this point, we could get some of it done, but we wouldn't get all of it. We wouldn't get the, um, the final piece of the relic that you need so that's why I would say just steer clear of that don't go in it just wait I probably should not have even opened it to be honest with you but I wanted to go ahead and get it opened so because you can't open it from the other side but I've done this enough so I know exactly where I should shouldn't go I know what's actually supposed to be in this side and what's in the other um, this over here there's really only that little piece right there which is kind of sad this huge room and nothing in it all right, let's go ahead and jump down here, use these stairs. We don't have a treasure chest yet, but we're getting ready to get one soon. Okay, now at this point, this is really all you can do. You can't really do anything here yet, but that's where we will come out. And here, a couple of things. You can mess around and move this thing, or just go over here and inspect. Either way, you're going to get the same result. It will actually either unlock this door, and then you'll have to inspect the door on the other side, or you can do it this way and you'll end up just bypassing the store altogether. So it doesn't really matter. Or you can do both. It's entirely up to you. I tend to just go this route and uh, go through the hidden door. That way you collect a lot of uh, different gems and stuff that you need. So that's just the way I do it. Alright. Sometimes it scares me if you just stands in front of it like, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to open automatically. <laughs> but it, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Go ahead and collect that one. And then inspect. Alright, I should have collected afterwards. Alright, here we go. Uh, get yourself some money bags. Go ahead and collect this one. And that should be everything. That is your door right there, which, which should be good. What do we get? All right, 548. I would say, let's see, we're at 115. Not quite where we need to be yet, but we're getting there. We have a good shot at it, of making our money. Um, I think that just might have gotten us quite. 116, 171, we're so close. We're so close to breaking even, <laughs> it's not even funny. All right. And this should open this door. If not, we'll just inspect it and open it as well. Alright, we didn't get an opportunity to find a hidden door, but that's okay. Again, you can easily miss this door if all you ever or miss this room if all you ever do is mess with this guy and they've kind of they've kind of directed you to where they want you to go to this one and just not even realize this room is here. But the way I do it, I don't even have to touch that one, because I get everything else done. So, oh good, I'm glad I put the lot where you built it, because that's, I was wondering if that's where you put it, because I thought it had to beat that size, so it looked like they'd be the best place. Alright, go ahead and clear these. Clear these. Alright, see, what you did is, once you broke it, we came through here, you broke that door, so this never has to be moved. You can now come through it anytime you want. So, alright, go ahead and grab your, your keystone. We are good. Um... He wants to go to the Nectary. I would like to go because I want to buy some stuff, but right now I'm not really too concerned about it. We're just going to go ahead and just pick up what we can. One of these is just an empty pile, so 
it's just there to distract you a little bit. So it was a really cool lot, by the way. I really liked it. And I can't wait to actually take Lacey and her family over there. But we weren't there long enough. If you'd watched the LP, we were only in Lunar Lakes for like, oh gosh, just a little while just to learn how to drive. And that was about it. We learned how to drive and swapped out a <laughs> swapped out a traveler. That was it. All right. Okay. Yeah, some of these things kind of a waste. This one cracks me up. <laughs> what we have to do with this one? Um, I don't start it. I go ahead and get these uncleared first. But I do laugh every time I do this one because it's so obnoxious. But um, <laughs> it's very funny. You'll see it just a minute if you haven't ever done this one. It's just, it's like, you think you're done? You're not done. <laughs> you just keep going. And these aren't bad. It's a door and I think a, a key spot. That's about it. And this one might be, this one might be gold coins or empty. I don't remember. Okay. Um... I love the floor design. I need to put that in basements when I make it. I need to come and look at these tombs and study them a little bit. But I always forget. And then I'm always thinking when I'm building a basement, why can't I think of what to do? All right, so it looks like we did get... Oh, we got something decent. All right, let's go get this thing started because it's going to take a while. <laughs> so, first of all, um, go ahead and eat your pemmican. And I forgot to have you listen to anything. So you're kind of killing time here. All right. <laughs> Again, you want to be brave, because otherwise this would be even twice as long, because he has to keep putting his hand in these things over and over and over again. But the nice thing is, you will come out of there with something good. You should. It normally gives you something decent at the end, but it takes forever to get to the end. All right, you got how many hours? Nine hours to do this, and you're at level six, almost seven. All right, that'll work. We'll speed you through that one. There you go. Inspect that one. And try through this one. Here comes number three. That's <laughs> still not the end. <laughs> We're still not quite there. When I first did this, I just kept getting annoyed. It's like, it's got to stop soon. <laughs> I can't take this. But now I just laugh at it. It's kind of funny. Because you have to go through the whole thing no matter what. And I didn't know to make your sim a brave sim either. So my sim was passing out, getting upset, refusing to do everything. It just got very, very aggravating. It's like, just do something. I had to buy that potion of courage. Uh, just be able to get through the stupid tubes because it was driving me nuts. I, I'm trying to remember if Kevin was my very first sim that I did. He was the original World, World Adventure self -B. I wonder if he was the first one I did. I don't think he was. I think there was somebody else before him. Because I think Kevin, I did start off as brave. But, um, yeah, the very first one I did was a disaster. <laughs> Completely. And I went to Egypt first, by the way. I should never have done that. Okay, here we go. The first thing you want to do is you want to push this guy out of the way. And you, once you push it there, you'll never have to move him ever again. Unfortunately, he's not the only one that you have to push, and you can't say that about everybody else. Go ahead and pull this one, and then we are ready to go. And now you're going to go pull this one back, because you just got rid of your staircase. And this is where, in my original World Adventures LP, this is where I almost killed my sim. <laughs> this is the tomb that almost did me in. So, for those of you who remember, you'll know that I just kept making the biggest mistake. And I laugh at it now because it was just so obvious. But <laughs> when I played it, I just was very innocently just kept hitting the same mistake over and over and over. And I kept thinking, what am I doing wrong? But yeah, it was in this tomb. You don't remember me going through every one of these traps. I mean, I hit like every last one of them, and uh, he kept. He ran out of. Uh, he ran out of shower in a can, so I was like, I'm gonna die right here. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta actually make sure you actually go past these things. You have to follow where it's raised up, because otherwise, if you hit those traps, he's gonna burn. So you don't want to do that. But yeah, it was. It was definitely one of my shining moments of showing you what not to do in the world adventures. 
All right, go ahead and move over here. And now you've got these. Now they're all gone. See, you can see what all this stuff I went through, which, yeah, if you're not prepared, I hit every single one of them. <laughs> and I just kept thinking, you're an idiot. You've done this before. You know better. You're trying to actually show people how to do it, and you're doing it wrong. So, I think I did teleport him out, didn't I? I think I did. I think I was trying and he wouldn't because he was burning. I don't remember how I got him out of there. Alright, open this up. I really don't. But it was bad. Now, the, the good thing is, um, Athletic is at 7, almost 8. Martial Arts is maxed. If we ran into any mummies, which we probably won't, um, I don't think there's any here. Uh, but if we did, we'd be okay. We wouldn't have to worry about um, being cursed by a mummy. Although it is kind of fun to be cursed, but usually by the time I get to that point, there's really no reason for me to be cursed. I already have everything done. Alright, look inside these things, and hopefully he doesn't get sucked back into them, which could happen. Alright, we got a money bag. We should probably have a lot of money. Oh, we got two of them. Alright, that just put us over the edge, so we've made a profit. Definitely. We have definitely made a profit. You definitely need these guys right here, so that's the whole reason you came down here. Because you're not going to be able to get through the next two doors if you don't have them. And I think there's another one too that you have to get. Plus, one of them's for a treasure chest. So, all of this part is definitely necessary. You can't really skip any of it. There are some parts of tombs you can skip altogether, it won't matter. It's just little pieces that you might, um, little pieces of treasure you might miss. But, yeah, like that. Gotta do this again. <laughs> Right. But some pieces you can, some pieces you can't. Alright, so we're building up our coins again, which is good, because he's going to have to buy some stuff here. Really, it's in France, or Egypt, where I like to buy the most stuff um, for the uh, the merchant, but that's okay. We're, we're alright with it. There you go. Alright, at this point, he can go ahead and head back upstairs, and... I don't have to watch him. We are going to go ahead and push you forward. And then I push it back just because... I don't know. You don't have to push it back, but I tend to just push it back. So that's just the way I play it. Again, this is one of three of the starter tubes. Well, the starter tube is actually the one with the maze. These aren't really considered starters. They're just... Um, add-ons but you don't get adventures for any of these so if you don't if you don't know about these and you can wait all day on that board and it's never gonna show it now here you've got the, the keystone for this so you're ready to go all right I could have actually left that open it didn't really matter but I just put it back I don't know why Okay, go ahead and go on through here. It should open up on its own. And then go over to this side and put this one in. Really? I wish you'd tell me before you're going to do that. I mean, I knew you probably needed it, but I could have taken care of it for you. That's all right. I'm not upset. Um, we've got plenty of money now. We can buy more. And there's nothing else over here. You can mess around with all this all you want, but there's nothing there. Okay. More money bags. Clear some more rubble. And we'll just work on this on this side first. We're almost done, actually. So, some of these tombs, especially the ones in Egypt, they just go forever and ever and ever. There's one that you never think it's going to end, but it does. It's just very, very lengthy. Um... The ones in France, the only one that's really long is the Nectary. That's the only one that really is probably one of the more difficult ones. And it's really not hard. It's just um, it's a lot, a lot of time that you have to put into it. But I like it. The only problem is usually that, that lot's pretty busy. And so it starts to lag quite a bit. It's got a lot of stuff on it. So that's why sometimes I hate playing on that Nectary lot because that lag gets really tedious. 
I'm hoping we don't have that issue because it doesn't happen all the time. Alright, there's another one of those. You're going to need it. Go ahead and grab this one. And I think we are cleared for this room. Let's go ahead and get out of here. There's one last little room that doesn't have much in it before. And then there's a final room. So this one's just got a little chest in it, I think. There we go. And I've gone around this all the time. Look, there's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing to do over here. It's just decorative. Alright, go ahead and go through that door. There's nothing actually to discover here. Oh, this is great. We're going to get one of our dangerous creatures, which is pretty awesome to get it that easily. Sometimes it takes a while. Alright, that takes care of this tomb for the most part. We still have to get the actual, I think they call it a sig sigil or a signet. I can't remember. What do they call it here? Uh, not that. Signet. Okay, so we have one more to get. And it'll be back behind that wall. Money bags! <laughs> I like money bags. Oh wait, we got one of the stones. I don't think we got any of them in China, by the way. So that's something that we still have to go back and find, which hopefully we will find them all when we go through the next um, the next trip. I hope we do. We've unlocked the market cavern, so a lot of stuff should respawn there, and I'm hoping that that's part of it. If not, I am going to have to hit up the relic merchant quite a bit, because we don't have the um, the tool to help us with the dig sites yet. Can't get that till you go to Egypt, and I wish it was sold here or sold in China as well. You'd think they would actually give it to you, but no. I told you. <laughs> you have to go in that again. Right, go ahead and do it twice. I'm surprised he hasn't been pulled into more, because normally mine are pulled into almost every one of them. I don't know why. So. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I do think that the, the, the tombs, some of the tombs are good here. I think France, um, it's basically where they kind of ran out of steam and you can tell definitely that nectary there's one part where you can tell that they just basically said okay there's nothing here we're just going to give you an empty room to walk through <laughs> and it is just as bare as can be um i mean i get it maybe it was too much stuff on there maybe they're trying to keep the um keep it down from having too many items on it but it just it doesn't hold the candle to some of the other ones I think China they probably put the most effort into as far as all the land and uh, the hillside and everything. But Egypt probably got a little bit more attention towards the tombs. France, France just kind of got France. <laughs> they didn't get much. Alright, go ahead and inspect this door. I've been waiting to see if we're going to get anything over here. There's nothing that's been showing up. It's alright. Okay, money bags, how much did we get? Not bad. How are we doing on time? We're on our last day. Almost. Well, we still got plenty of energy, so we're in good shape. So I don't think we have any problem doing the second part of this tomb. And there's not a name for it, by the way. I mean, yeah, there is a name for the uh, the signet that we're going to get. So other than that, there's really nothing else. Alright. Get this one gone. And we should be good. At that point, we're going to head back upstairs. Because we are good to go. So one third of this tube has been done. There it is. And this one is called... The Maze of the High Ruler. Okay. Although we never even went through the maze. <laughs> I guess. Not really. We didn't even go through that way. We went under the maze. We didn't go through it. Alright. Where are we at? We are going... One more step. And then hopefully it's daylight. Oh no, it's nighttime. It's going to be hard to see. That's why it's so bad about this. Trying to find it. Somebody's up there crying. I can hear them. I don't know who it is, but they're up there doing it. I'm really surprised we haven't gotten an opportunity through the phone yet. But it's coming. Alright. Whoever you are, stop. This is where it's hard to see. And there is a floor panel that's right over here somewhere. 
it's just very difficult at night for me to find it. Especially with the screen this dark. Let's see, are you over here? Ay, 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 it's over here. It's right past. Okay, now I'm just, I must be blind as a bat. I don't see anything, but I know it's in front of this thing. At least it's supposed to be. Alright, seriously, I can't see. There it is. It's right there in front of me. I couldn't see it because there's a glare on my screen. Gosh. <laughs> Alright. I knew it was there. Again, this is one of those, if you didn't know this was here, you'd miss it. You'd have no idea. But it opens up the second part of the tomb. So, here we go. Let's get ready to go on down to part two. So... And this one again, it's not its not really as long as the other one. It's pretty simple compared to the other. Um, I mean, like I said, they're all simple, but it really doesn't take that much to get through it. Yeah, it is extremely dark. There's no lights, nothing whatsoever. Go ahead and open up this chest. And then I'm going to go back here, get this one. More money bags. Definitely made our money back on this trip, which is good. Kind of like to actually have that done. Now you could go after all these um, ancient coins. I don't. As far as I'm concerned, really, I leave three of them there. I don't even mess with them. Um, but I just want to get the what's we call it? Where's it at? I can't find it. There's got to be something in here, in there. Seriously, there's got to be nothing. All right, wait a minute. There's usually something here, in there? I guess not. It lies. <laughs> the game lied. Alright, go ahead and pull this one out. It doesn't matter which one you pull. You can do any of them, but... Um, I thought there was something over there, usually. It's going to drive me nuts if I don't figure it out. But I thought there was. Alright, go ahead and grab this, and then grab your keystone. And then at this point, if you want to get rid of this, you can push this thing back. I believe it'll push it back. I believe it'll set it. Uh, and I don't think it'll actually go off if you walk over it either. So if you really want all these gold coins, you can get them. But see, if you walk over this thing now, it won't be a problem. At least it shouldn't be. <laughs> it should not go off. But you don't. Need, I don't need the gold coins, so that's okay. <laughs> You're trying to point at it for me? I'm sorry. I couldn't see because there was a glare, and you guys didn't see the glare. All right, I go ahead and start with whatever's behind the dive pool. And of course, you know he's going to have to go diving, so the first thing we're going to do is lock this in. All right, you're going to go ahead and change into your outfit. Let's go ahead and go into your swimwear, which is this one. But before you do that, go ahead and actually collect that one. Undo this one. And we start over here. do it in any order you want to do it. It does not matter. I just, I kind of have my own thing that I do. And I will go pick this one up. And then we'll go for a little exploration. Sometimes I go through the door first. Sometimes I go through the dive well. It's just kind of a mixture. Just whatever you're in the mood for. Finally, we found some titanium, <laughs> which is good. It's worth a lot of money, if you can notice. It, it actually is good stuff to sell. But took a while we finally got some <laughs> I think we've got quite a few though by now don't we three of them that's not bad because each of them should be worth about a thousand or so no that was eleven thousand nine fifty two so not bad all right go ahead and swim through the tunnel grab this one grab that one clear that one and we are so close to being done yeah, I know we're almost done. Uh, we might even be able to do the starter tube if they give us the opportunity or if I set up for it. Because it doesn't take long. It really doesn't. Except you have to go check in, which that will take us a while. Just don't know if I want to go do that. Alright, here we go. Let's go back in here. Let's go through the door. I may or may not have enough time. 
It's 24 hours is not bad. But we're not quite where we need to be. Go ahead and clear it out. Um. Alright. Now, at this point, we should be good. Let's go ahead and move you over. you over and that should cover all of us and you should have a hidden door meditate I might do I don't know if I will or not we'll just lock it for now there you go do I have to open no all right now for this one sometimes there could actually be a mummy in here it's rare but it could happen it happens today, I'll be surprised, but it could possibly go. Or you can get pulled in. <laughs> but he's, there's no mummy, otherwise he'd have jumped back already. Alright, more titanium, which is good. I like titanium. So, not bad at all. Is there anything that I'm missing? Sometimes there's little gems and I miss them because they're so tiny and either the lighting is really dark or my <laughs> Claire is really bad but looks like for today we're actually pretty good didn't have anything extra we've almost built up a lot of ancient coins which I know we blew a lot of them last time on that uh, 50,000 tent <laughs> whatever it was which we sold um, go ahead and go through here and there we go this point collect the last little bit we're almost done I mean technically you are done but you still have one little room left which is right there more titanium love it all right let's go ahead and sell these money bags wow not worth as so much as I thought they would be not bad, but I thought they were actually going to be worth more. Alright, uh, there's your next signet, or signal, or signet. So there's three of nine. We're in good shape. And then this one shouldn't be too bad either. What's our energy looking like? Eh, not bad. I do want to go do some shopping first before we actually mess up. So we are going to go do a couple of things before we go home. Since they're open 24 hours, we might as well go do it now. And I'm thinking, let's see. Go ahead and eat this one first. So that way I don't have to stop. Alright, oh, there we go. Maybe we got the second one. I'll be glad if we did. We'd be kind of very lucky if we could get both of them the same trip. No, <laughs> we got the same one. <laughs> we got a copy of it. That's okay. I'll take it. Alright. At that point, it looks like we are good to go. I'm still debating, do I go off and do the basic, the basic opportunity or not? I'm not quite sure if we have enough. We probably do have enough time. I don't think it's that bad. Alright. So let's go ahead and do this. First things, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't need to buy the Nectar Makers just yet. But we do want to go back into town. Um, let's go back home for a minute. Let's go back to the base camp. We are going to go check the mail, which should be something. I don't know. Check for an adventure. Which I know what we're going to get. If it works. <laughs> if it works, it should give us the same thing. Um, it'll just be the rest of this tomb. And that way we can know that it would be finished. It's out of the way and done. Which isn't bad. It wouldn't be a bad thing to get it out of the way. So. 
there's an easier, faster way of downloading store content because I always do it one little thing at a time. And uh, it takes me, I've got, gosh, what, 17 pages? No, 20-something pages. It's ridiculous. Would you look at mine? It just goes on and on and on. But um, that's all right. So, uh, if you're looking at my mods, yeah, the only two mods that I'm really using here in this game is the NRAS Master Controller and Master Controller Cheats, and I'm using the Once Red and the Once Red Tablet. Those are the only NRAS mods I'm using. Besides that, I do have... Alright, that's what we want. Besides that, I do actually have a... Um, the s Restoration for the Spells fixed. I believe I have a No Berate Intelligence mod, and... Uh, I have the no performance against Showtime performers, and I believe the no autonomous Simbot reaction thing. That's about it. But really, the only two that I think are really necessary for World Adventures would be the Master Controller and the Once Red. Those are the only two that you ha actually have to have in order to get yourself to be able to do all the tubes. You don't That's really have to have any of them. Mm -hmm. You just have to have patience. But those mods make a big difference. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go back to the ruins which you should have it right here. And he should be listening to uh, cooking or something. Oh, don't you even start, lady. <laughs> don't even give it. All right, go ahead and do this first. Let's start him first. Um, but yeah, those are really the basic two that will get you to do everything that we've done that so far, I mean, yeah, the the tablet's the only one that I think I've used more than uh, than anything. So that and the master controller for the opportunities. So besides that, everything else is whatever you like. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this last little bit of this tomb wrapped up before we have to leave, which would kill off this third day, and we would have a very successful first trip to China. Now this shouldn't get us past a level one visa. All right, we didn't need to go this far. So go ahead and go on down here. And hopefully we've got enough uh, energy. Yeah, energy's good. Good enough, I guess. Social's not, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it work. I right, go ahead and clear this one, and then you can go ahead and do this, whatever it is. All right, now if you keep doing this, you're going to kill my time, so you can't stop. All right, you cannot do that at all. Before we go too much further, since we did that second tomb and I didn't save, I want to go ahead and lock it in so I don't have to repeat myself. Because I've had too many times where I've done this, I've gotten through like two or three tombs, and then I lose the, the save, something happens, and I have to start over. And let me tell you, that does not that does not end well with me. <laughs> it gets very frustrating. So this way we'll just get this out of the way first. Uh, you could have bought the incense holder, but we weren't really there to buy stuff. I will be there to buy stuff later, but nothing in France really is pivotal at this point. Um, not anything that I can think of. Yeah, if you need the mummy snacks, that would be, but we don't need that. We're gonna, we're gonna fight our mummies. We're not gonna feed them. So that's, that's our big thing. Now social, if I still had that vial of bliss, which I think I already used it, <laughs> this would have been the perfect time for it. Ah, it's okay. We could always call somebody and talk to him on the phone. Um, not going to, but we could have. I don't think there's a dive well in here. I don't really think there is. So I think that's all wasted. All right, let's go ahead and just stand on this one. Again, our goal is to try to get through this one before the end of the day. And it's not that bad. It is the probably the more advanced of all the starter tombs. This one probably is a little bit bigger. Um, all right, go ahead and do this. And <laughs> it's his first time. <laughs> he knows better. <laughs> He's got me guiding him. He knows we can figure this out. We can get through it pretty quick. All right, get your money bag. Stand on this one. But we just have to push it. We got to push through this one because I don't want to run out of time. Normally, when I come over for the first trip, like I say, I have prepared Traveler, and I go do that other one with the uh, butterflies. I always call it the butterfly trap, but or the butterfly tube, but um, it's all right. 
Oh, that's why he's looking? Oh, <laughs> that's right. Okay, well, you can look... Just look fast. <laughs> look faster than that. We can sight see later. Alright, go ahead and just start clearing off some stuff. And then you need to go over here and find this one. I can't believe I'm not getting anything over here for finding a hidden door. I was kind of hoping I would. I know you get to a certain point towards the end where you're like, Okay, I'm enough. I just want to be done with tombs. I want to be finished. So... We're not quite there yet. I'm still really enjoying it. But by the time you get to Egypt, when they get more advanced, you're just like, okay, enough. <laughs> I need a break. And uh, so those, I may not be going quite as long. But in the beginning right now, just trying to get there, I don't know. I've actually really enjoyed going through this. Plus, it's kind of making me feel better to get my World Adventures LP back up on the channel. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. It's not... It's, it's still not going to be the same as my original, but it doesn't have to be. It just does the same. It has the same purpose. It shows you basically what we do to get through these tombs. Okay, this, collect it. There is nothing here. And we got another money bag coming. I keep rolling the camera back because I'm too far up. How much did I make? Oh, that's cheap. <laughs> that's really cheap. Alright, go ahead and put this one in. But we are good to go. <laughs> You're reinstalling all the sims. Alright. I don't know. I think I don't know that there's been too many days that I haven't played this game because I just I really get into it. I enjoy it. I like the Sims 4 too. It's just this one, I don't know. I just because there's no loading screens and I go straight from one thing to the next, I just can be very, very involved with it. And I don't get that all the time with uh, Sims 4. So, but I'm finding ways to really enjoy that one too. So it's it's been good. Uh, that mod has helped a lot with uh, things happening in the town because otherwise, I don't know. I don't think I'd do. I don't think I'd do well. Although this one, I'm not having anything happen to my town, and it's just fine. But yeah, I do kind of. If I had to actually, if I had to give up one, I'd have to give up four. I can't give this one up. I couldn't pull this one up. Inspect this and grab this one. This just gives you your easy way out because there's always an easy way out of these tombs. They give it to you at the beginning um, or they'll give it to you on your way out that door. They'll give you one easy way to get to the top of the tomb. And this is it. It's giving you that out. Wow, 10 o'clock in the morning. Buddy, we gotta go. <laughs> We're gonna run out of time. We shouldn't. We should be okay. I mean, worst case, I do have potions I could use. I don't want to use it if I don't have to, but energy's going down pretty fast, which I don't like. But he's still got to go through the maze. Um, but he's not that far. He's really not that far to get to uh, to where we need to be. All right, let's see if we can get you over here. Step on this thing. Get your staircase to open up. And there we go. Um... Hello. <laughs> Come on back. He's got to do this every time. Alright, go ahead and use the stairs. If your sim's tired and you didn't buy a tent or didn't buy a sleeping bag, this is a great place for you to stop because you'll have a tent. Um, I have used it before, but typically I always have at least a sleeping bag with my sims. I don't ever let them go without something, some way to take care of their, their needs. And then from here... There is a very easy way to do this maze. Now, if you look at this, it'll just tell you you need to have food and a sleeping bag. It's all basic. But you got a morn over here. Let's go ahead and actually find ourselves a hidden door. And we're good. Um, yeah, I need to have him learning how to make potions, to be honest with you. It's one of my things that I'm just like, they've got to, they've got to learn. But he's got some now. He's he's okay for this trip, and when we go over to do the China trip, he should be okay as well. All right. Now I'm missing something over here, and I don't see it. Should have been here. Wow. We didn't find something that we should have found. All right. Once he goes through here, typically you just go through here, 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 here. Click that. Then you come back over and you collect that. 
Um, normally there's a gem right here, but for some reason I'm not getting one. And it may be because I don't have Lord Relic Hunter. But then you just come through all the way around, come through this way, and go inspect the door. So, but that is that is how I do it. I've kind of got my own little system of how I go through this one thing after the other. And I just kind of go in this order. I think most people do. <laughs> most people I've ever watched play it, they do it that way. Of course, I haven't watched too many people play it. But there's not that many uh, World Adventures LP out there, actually. There's some that maybe do like a tomb here or there, but none that really dedicate a whole LP to it. Or if they do, they go to a certain point and stop. <laughs> so there's a lot of incomplete LPs, which I have a bunch of those too, and I I feel bad, but I got plans. <laughs> I got plans for those as well. So we will actually be revisiting quite a few things in my channel <laughs> that have been in the past, and a few things that are going to be new, but I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to get done. I got a whole lot of time coming up to do it too, which is good. But I really want to push these uh, other LPs I've got going, like Ultimate Sim and uh, the Legacy Challenge for Sims 4, which is actually going a lot faster, believe it or not. Um, I can't believe how far we are in that one. Alright, although it still bothers me that the stupid portrait doesn't show up. Um, Alright, so what you're going to do here is go, alright. Once you get back out of here, you come back through. You're going to go back down here. We collect this one first. Then I collect that. And then I go put that on there. Okay. That way he knows exactly what he's supposed to do. <laughs> Pretty easy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stream everything. <laughs> so we'll be streaming quite a, bu quite a bunch. But um, I had something that I was actually thinking about. Um, haven't really worked out all of it yet, but I'm still putting it together, which would be kind of a way to to bridge what I have done before with some new stuff as well, So, which I'm looking forward to trying. But it'll be an interesting LP. I've not seen one done. Well, I think I... No, I don't think I really have. So it'll be something that would be different. So... Not saying that people don't do it or don't play like that, but I just haven't seen it done as an LP. So, all right. Yeah, I searched the hole already. So that was the first thing we did. And this should be a nice what? dangerous creature, maybe. Or a treasure chest. Treasure chest. All right. And then you get out of here. You're going to go over to this one. All right, sorry. Search that one. Oh, you mean that hole? Yeah, I don't do that hole till right now. So I do that one on the way back. And then we go step on this. And then we need to go through this room. So, speaking of which, I can speed you through that. There you go. I'll speed you through this. And this one, sometimes I get a weird glitch, which I'll probably get it here. No, I didn't. he did it right. Sometimes he stands right up here, which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. He'll stand up there because he doesn't actually uh, line up with the floor switch, which is kind of weird. But we'll go ahead and open that one up. Oh, we got Nectar. I was hoping we were going to get the dangerous creature over there, but nah, didn't get anything great. All right, we'll get you through this one. You're almost actually to the end. It really doesn't take that much more. Hopefully we will not waste too much of his time. He still has to go check in as well. But it's all right. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I used to watch a lot of people, and uh, I would try to follow along with their LPs. And I kept going, how is it that they can get all this done and I can't? <laughs> it was because they were cheating right and left. And so they were just sliding up their sliders and whatnot in between episodes. And I'm thinking, well, gosh, I can't do it. And so that's why when you guys follow me, it's basically basically raw gameplay. This is exactly what I do. So um, if you're trying to play along with me and you're having a problem, it's just there shouldn't be much of a difference. It really shouldn't be at all. All right, go ahead and pull this thing out. In fact, you guys probably are doing things a lot better because maybe you're not running your mouth as much. But um, I don't know. I just like it. I don't like when people cut away from too many things because, like I said, sometimes I try to follow along and do the same thing. And I, I just, I want to know what I was supposed to do. So, it's all right. 
right. And again, cheating to me is um, anything you can do in the game, not cheating. But anything that you have to type in a code for, uh, that's a cheat. <laughs> that's wrong. Um, if you have to slide a slider, like if I had the testing cheats on and I slid that open, that'd be a cheat. His social's going down bad, but it, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and get him through this part first. That way at least I know I have the worst of it done. Uh, now I do want to mourn, but really what I'd rather do is get this one out of the way first. Go ahead and inspect it. Alright, let's see. Um... Oh yeah, I don't like when people age kids up that fast. It's like, you know, let it age, let it happen what's gonna happen. Yeah, you gotta fight through it, you gotta deal with the screaming and the crying. Well, you saw what was going on with my legacy challenge. I couldn't take those screaming kids. It was like, you're kidding me with all this. It's alright, though. I was having fun. I really was. I was complaining, but I was having a good time with it, so... It wasn't bad. I eat the food, and I probably... I really wish that I had... I uh, wish I had that Vial of Bliss. I really did. This would be the perfect time for it. Um, but we can kind of circumvent that. Let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and actually play a game real fast. Hopefully we can get this done before midnight, because we still have to mourn a whole bunch of tombs, if you notice. And then go turn this thing in. Oh, please don't tell me you have to go too far. Thankfully you can just sit. Oh, no. Seriously? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, you're driving me nuts, kid. <laughs> you really are. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You didn't do anything I told you. Nope. Come on down here. I will give you this potion. We're going to have to waste it. I hate that, but we're going to have to waste it. We're going to lose our time. Come on, buddy. I need you to get down here. Alright, we got this one done. I'm going to speed you through this so I can get you to collect, mourn. Alright, mourn this one. Something tells me we are going to be like pushing it for time. <laughs> we really are. Let me speed you through. It's not every one of these that you have to mourn, but I don't remember which ones exactly. So that's why I just figured let's just go ahead and mourn them all. I don't think it's any of these. I think it's all the ones up there at the front. Alright, go over here and mourn. Mourn, and then mourn. All right, then you should be done. You should be done. All right, wrap it up. There you go. See, I should have known. It's just the one. It's really that's the only one you have to worry about. And then you got a door to go over here and find once you actually unlock this. It's nine o'clock, kid. <laughs> You're messing me up. Uh, we're going to be here all day. Alright, let's get this one out of the way. You're so close. And I can't believe I had to waste a potion for this. Not happy with him right now. It's alright, he did a good job. It wasn't his fault. I knew I was pushing it to do this, to be honest with you. I really did. i go ahead and wrap this one up. I really did. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go on through this door. We're now ready to go, almost turn this thing in, and we might get there. We might get it done by 10 o'clock, or by 11 o'clock, before we have to leave and go, all right, you got to get this, collect that one real fast, then go up the stairs, and, uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot else. There is something else on the next level, but that's minor. <laughs> yeah, you're right, we are cutting it very, very close. All right, go ahead and do this. Open your door. I know you want to look around. I've been complaining about you looking around, but... Alright. Go deliver your relic. Because at this point, I think everything's done with the tomb. We did all three parts. Alright. Nice job. I'm happy. I wish I could have gotten the social taken care of. But that's alright. Um, let's see... This is why I'm glad I have a motorcycle, because this will take us a lot longer on that little Vespa. Uh, whoever's calling me, please just ignore it, because we don't need to deal with that. I didn't get to shop, I didn't get to buy the recipes or anything at all, but that's okay. Um, 
unfortunately, we'll get that next trip. It'll be a while before we come back to France, so I don't really think I need any of that stuff yet. Well, if he's got time, he's got enough time, he might be able to buy a few things. Is this the store? Where's she at? Oh, no, there she is. All right, this is General Bible Goods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, go to the bookstore. <laughs> go fast. I don't care about the relic store. I would like to do it. I'd like to check it. But if we can just at least get the bookstore done, I'll be okay. All right, let's go ahead and see if you can go in here. Is she standing there? Oh, good, she's there. Aww. We should be able to buy it. Uh, and then if you have time, we'll go next door, which is the relic store. So at least I got this in a little bit. All right, come on. Okay, we want to get all of these, and we want to get all of these. Other than that, I'm good. All right, so we spent some money. Now we're underneath our, <laughs> we're underneath. We've lost money, so we didn't actually do as well. But that's okay. I didn't expect to buy as much. I go over here, buy this. You got 20 minutes, and I need to save. So we're gonna save real quick in case I lose him before we go. But that's good. I mean, at least I have, um, at least I got that opportunity done, which makes me feel better. It was a very very successful full three days of China of France. It really was. So we didn't have really any downtime whatsoever. So not bad. So, but we did push it. I wasn't expected to do that last part of the tube, which is why I really didn't push him until the very end. All right, titanium would be good, but I'm going to hold off. Uh, we'll get an opportunity soon to get some. All right, at this point, uh is there anything else you want to do? You want to talk to somebody? Well, you could actually say hi to her, at least get to know somebody. Mm. You won't have enough time mm. to do this, but <laughs> you can give it a shot. Oh. There we go. We can't even say hi. Didn't even have enough time to say hello at the end. Oh, that was good. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. although you hear it going on behind the, behind the scenes, so you know it is happening, but apparently not. But that was... That was pretty impressive to get all that done. I was happy to do it. Wow, we got a lot done in this episode today. Well, actually, we got a lot done all day today. We started off um, basically doing... What did we start off with in China? Wasn't it the um, the ancient monk retreat? Monk retreat? I think we started that. And uh, we've gone pretty far into this. We've started our way into... France. We've got China pretty much one more trip and we're done with it. And then France before you know it, we'll be wrapping that one up too. So, not bad. Now we just make sure we get him home. I always get nervous <laughs> before I get him home just to make sure that they come through the traveling thing. Especially since I had that issue not long ago. That gets me really nervous at all because I hate that. But, looks like there's no problem here. And the first thing I want to do, I know he's tired. He's had an exhausting trip. I've killed him. We'll go ahead and silence his phone. Make sure I don't forget that. All right. Hopefully he doesn't go in the eternal boat loop. But if he does, actually I may take him out of this right before he gets home and uh, stop him. But we'll just wait and see. I just want to get him through this. I never stop or you know, save my game at this point until he gets to the house. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm going to have issues. I don't, but sometimes I think I do. Hopefully you guys have decided you're going to build something or you have something that you used in this town or that you like or think would fit in this town and you're going to give me some suggestions of stuff to put in because I'd really like to see that happening. Um, of course, if you don't, that's fine. It's just, I just thought it would be something different, something new to do. And uh, let's go ahead and stop you here. All right, go ahead and go down here. All right. Make it easy so he doesn't have to go through the boats. Go ahead and go up this way. You want to say hi to these people? He's like, no, not really. Go ahead and say hi to her real quick. She might be a neighbor, for all we know. <laughs> and that's my house. So now we'll go to the house. So, um... Oh, no, no, no. You're going to go to the loop. No. Just stay home. Go here. Can you go here? Okay, good. <laughs> all right, good. Go this way. 
Alright, so I guess we have to kind of walk you down the pier, which I don't mind doing. I don't like it, but I don't mind doing it. Alright, let's get you through this one. Go one more step. It's kind of like going through a tomb, isn't it? <laughs> Just trying to avoid a trap. <laughs> Alright, that is fine. Alright, looks like we are set. We're back to the house. We got quite a bit finished, and I am going to stop the episode here. When we come back with that good old stance he's got, we'll be ready to actually uh, kick off our final trip to China. Hopefully we'll get all the different relic collections that we need. We're missing quite a bit. I think we're missing about three of the Chinese vases. We're missing two of the stones, and uh, of course we're missing the actual relics. But we'll get those out of the way. We do have all the dangerous creatures, I think. I think we have food dog. I'm not sure. If not, we'll be missing that too. But we got quite a bit done. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here and get this thing out there on YouTube. You guys can give it a look at it. And um not sure that I'll be able to come back or not. But if I do, it'll be around probably my normal time, around like uh, 6 or 7 or so. So, guys, thank you all so much for visiting, for sticking around, for watching, for subscribing, and for commenting. I absolutely appreciate it. It's really nice to go back and watch and see. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.